When a camera company makes a bold move, the photography world feels it. And when that company is Nikon, one of the oldest names in camera history, every rumor, every whisper carries weight. Right now, those whispers are growing louder. They point to something massive on the horizon, the Nikon Z92, a name that already sounds powerful, but if the leaks are true, it might be far more than just another upgrade. It could be the moment Nikon reminds the world why it still leads when performance matters most. For years, Nikon has been refining its mirrorless identity. The original Z9 changed everything. No mechanical shutter, insane burst speeds, 8K video, and reliability that made professionals switch without hesitation. But time moves fast, and the industry never sleeps. Sony, Canon, even Panasonic, all of them are pushing harder than ever. So Nikon's next move had to be bold. And now, with the Z92 reportedly in development, that bold move might be closer than anyone expected. The story begins with timing. If the reports are correct, Nikon is preparing to reveal the Z92 in late 2025, with shipping beginning early the following year. That window isn't random. It's strategic, perfectly aligned with the 2026 Winter Olympics. For decades, camera makers have timed their biggest launches around major sports events. It's the perfect showcase for speed, durability, and autofocus performance. And if Nikon aims to dominate the sidelines again, the Z92 is the weapon they'll bring to that battlefield. But what exactly makes this camera so special? Why is the internet already calling it a monster before it's even official? It starts with the sensor. According to leaks, Nikon will continue using its 45.7 megapixel stacked full-frame sensor, the same resolution as the Z9, but this time paired with a new generation image processor. The rumored name. Xpeed X, or as some call it, the next-gen engine. Think of it like the brain upgrade that supercharges everything. Image quality, speed, noise control, and data handling. This chip isn't just faster, it's smarter. It can push massive amounts of data without hesitation, process complex autofocus calculations in real time, and handle video bandwidths that used to make cameras overheat in minutes. And this new engine may unlock something unprecedented. 120 frames per second continuous shooting. Just imagine that. A full-frame camera capturing 45.7 megapixel images at 120 frames per second. That's cinematic slow motion, but for stills. For sports photographers, it means never missing a touchdown, a punch, or a split-second goal. For wildlife photographers, it means freezing a hawk mid-flight, a cheetah mid-sprint, or a whale breaching the surface, perfectly sharp, every single frame. At that speed, photography starts to feel like video. Moments that used to vanish between frames can now be dissected, frame by frame, pixel by pixel. It's not just speed for the sake of numbers, it's precision for the sake of storytelling. But all that power brings another question. How does Nikon keep up with the data? That's where the buffer and data pipeline come in. If the rumors are right, Nikon's engineers have completely reworked the internal architecture, allowing near-instant clearing of raw bursts. You could shoot hundreds of frames and still keep firing. No freezing. No lag, no waiting for the camera to catch up. It's the kind of performance usually reserved for scientific gear or high-speed cinema rigs. Yet the sensor and processor only tell half the story. The other half lies in autofocus, the soul of modern photography. Autofocus is where Nikon has made massive progress in the past few years. From early Z-series struggles to the incredible tracking of the Z9, Nikon has climbed to the top tier. Now, with the Z9 II, that system is rumored to evolve again. We are talking about AI-driven subject recognition, not just detecting people, animals, or vehicles, but understanding behavior. A system that predicts movement, anticipates focus shifts, and holds onto the subject even through obstacles. For professionals shooting in chaos, like football fields, racetracks, or bird-filled skies, that's not a luxury. It's survival. Low-light autofocus is another rumored leap. Nikon's engineers reportedly focused on pushing reliable focus in dim conditions, concerts, indoor arenas, or dawn wildlife scenes. If that's true, the Z92 could become a tool not just for light, but for shadow. W. The camera that doesn't flinch when others struggle. Then there's the viewfinder, a detail that seems small but changes everything. Reports suggest Nikon is introducing a new, high-resolution EVF with minimal lag. When you're tracking a fast-moving subject, milliseconds matter. If your EVF lags, you lose the moment. If it keeps up, you capture it. 
That's the difference between almost and perfect. And that's exactly what Nikon seems to be chasing, perfection. But nothing grabs attention quite like video specs. Because in 2025, every flagship camera isn't just for stills anymore. It's for creators, filmmakers, documentarians, and hybrid shooters. The Nikon Z92 appears to acknowledge that reality fully. The leaks suggest extended 8K recording times thanks to a new thermal management system. In other words, Nikon might have finally conquered one of the biggest limitations of mirrorless cameras, overheating. For filmmakers shooting long interviews, live events, or field documentaries, reliability matters more than pure specs. A camera that keeps recording when others shut down, that's power. But there's one rumor that eclipses everything else. One phrase that sends chills down every filmmaker's spine, global shutter. If Nikon introduces a global shutter, or even a hybrid global mechanical system, it would mean the end of rolling shutter distortion. No more jello effect. No more slanted lines during pans. No more compromised frames when capturing fast-moving subjects. It sounds like science fiction, but the industry is getting closer. Global shutters read every pixel at once, unlike traditional systems that scan line by line. The result? Pure, undistorted motion, no matter how fast things move. If Nikon pulls this off, the Z92 wouldn't just compete, it would lead. It would redefine what a flagship hybrid camera can be. Of course, there are challenges. Global shutters have trade-offs, slightly reduced dynamic range, higher power draw, and cost. But Nikon has a track record of solving problems others avoid. And that's why the excitement feels real. Now, let's talk about price. Rumors suggest a figure between $5,500 and $6,000. Yes, that's premium. But so is everything about this camera. For professionals, sports shooters, wildlife experts, filmmakers, it's not just about cost. It's about trust. And when your work depends on capturing moments that never come back, that trust is priceless. Still, this raises a question every Nikon user is asking. Should you wait? If you already own a Z9, you're holding one of the best cameras ever made. It's reliable, fast, and proven in every environment. But if your work demands more, if you crave cutting-edge autofocus, longer video endurance, and that rumored global shutter, the Z92 might be worth the wait. Because this camera, if it becomes real, won't just be an update. It'll be a statement. Nikon's way of saying, we are still here, and we are still the best when it counts. For professionals, it's a promise of performance. For creators, it's a new canvas. And for Nikon, it's a chance to set a new standard for the decade ahead. But as always, until Nikon confirms it, these are still whispers. Whispers filled with possibility, excitement, and maybe even a little nostalgia. Because every photographer knows that anticipation is part of the magic. The waiting, the wondering, the guessing, it's what keeps the craft alive. And as the clock ticks toward 2025's end, one thing feels certain. The camera world is holding its breath. Something big is coming. Something powerful. Something called the Nikon Z92.